this is uh, Uttam Manna. Uh, I'm a professor in the Department of Chemistry, IIT Guwahati. Uh, my entire group uh, mostly work on different functional material on uh, bioinspired liquid weightability. Here, what I'm going to talk about is how to design a functional textile that is embedded with uh, bioinspired weightability, uh, which is widely known as superhydrophobicity, which is inspired from lotus leaf uh, structures. And uh, another important thing is like how this functional textile can convert the light into heat or say like you apply electricity that will convert into heat. Now why this is important? If you see uh, in the severe cold exposure that can be fatal uh, because of uh, various sort of diseases like uh, when one person is exposed to cold, severe cold weather for prolonged duration, uh, they can have a breathing problem, they can uh, suffer from suppress of their immunity, uh, also uh, they have artery thrombosis and all. So that ultimately leads to uh, their death and this is the problem globally there. right? And one of the way it is basically how you can manage a, a warm environment around you. One of the easy ways is like you can stay inside uh, indoor environment or you can put a multiple layer on you but again depends on what sort of temperature you are facing right? and when you are putting multiple layer on you then uh, the comfortness or say like the ability to move around doing regular work outdoor activity specifically is somehow getting compromised. And that's the reason you see that in a cold weather, the, the places where you have a severe cold, people have a restricted, limited activity at outdoors, right? Now, how you can come up with a solution so that people can still do the necessary job? Suppose, if I talk about, you know, in our country, some of the places, our uh, military uh, actions cannot be stopped, right? And people have to face those severe cold uh, environment. And they are definitely their freedoms and then uh, in terms of freedom, in terms of, you know, uh, doing regular activities will be compromised when they are putting several layers. Here I'm talking about you put a, a kind of a very flexible thin one layer, but in weak sunlight or say applied electricity that is a very low voltage or say that device or smart fabric that can be uh, converting the electricity or say light into heat at a very small uh, input of energy that can be a remedy right in this direction there are some research but our aim is like how we can develop the material which will be durable and uh, it's tolerant to you know um, outside all, all sort of exposures like you know uh, physical abrasions or aqueous exposures or so not only that, how it, it gives a scalable fabrication process because scalability is an issue. You can have a state of art different sort of materials and that can give a really nice performance but in a small scale. Economy is another issue, right? So for bringing something in real perspectives, you need to take, take care of scalability and economic, right? So in that aspect, what we thought, start with this uh, metal nanoparticle, silver uh, metal nanoparticles, which is a less contaminated with the carbon. And once you have that, you can have a nice network on a fabric. So this is the one which is conductive textile, but it doesn't really embedded with super hydrophobicity. Now, what will be the advantage of super hydrophobicity? If you see, this is the one intentionally you put some of the dust and all. When you Thinking about outside exposures or use, uh, the dust and dirt you cannot really avoid. That will be there, right? Now, if you put exposed to water, you can see it's a muddy kind of uh, situations, right? And then easily get wet. And once that is happened, it will compromise its property that we have shown in the study. Now, once you convert into super hydrophobic, then if you expose to the similar sort of uh, environment, then you can, because of the self-cleaning property of the super hydrophobicity, you will get a dry and clean interfaces. And that would be good for, you know, real life 
applications now these materials can be scalable as scale as as high as like you know 1 meter square uh, this this fabric is also breathable you can see like the after boiling the water whatever the vapor that can easily come out from this place so it's remain breathable it's flexible it's also water repellent and it remain highly conductive taking advantage of all these properties what we did here we develop a smart bandage a uh, smart uh, kneecap one thing just now i have said that you know uh, how this sort of invention can helpful to maintain a warmth environment around you when you are in an outdoor environment at the same point this thermotherapy for managing the pain is another things right we conventionally use the hot water bag and all right but in that case you are restricted in terms of moving from one place to another suppose you are traveling from one place to another you don't have the excess of the hot water what you will do but you are in severe pain suppose in a aircraft or some other place traveling with a train or the bus or so there you can have a concept of this dry heating and taking advantage of this fabric we can come up with this smart uh, knee band or you know arm band or even a belt that allow you to uh, get a desired heat you know it could be 40 it could be 50 it could be 60 depending on a need depending on the pain right and basically this elevated temperature which can be monitored with this ir camera this red uh, uh, region indicates that is heated up that region just by applying a low voltage as low as like you know 0.5 volt right uh, or even if you want to uh, achieve uh, above 100 degree centigrade temperature you have to elevate to 1.2 volt or so and doing that you can basically uh, enhance the blood flow in the muscles and you can manage the pain okay and uh, so this invention that way is very useful to managing the warmth environment when you are outdoor condition and severe cold as well as for those people who are struggling with the pain muscle pain or various other joint pain where they wants to go for the thermotherapy that can be also effectively done and you know like this device we with the help of professor roy pili from triple e department we came up with the uh, device just using this power bank we can uh, run this device for continuously at least for 10 hour so that could be very effective for practical applications yeah thank you uh, i'm devasmita sarkar a phd scholar in chemistry department iit guwahati and i am hajar ali and i'm postdoc fellow of this lab i am tikaran mishra our phd scholar in iit guwahati so uh, here in this product we are we have prepared a smart textile uh, which we have made conductive and as well as super hydrophobic inspired by nature which is found in the uh, lotus leaf and uh, as you can see it is uh, conducting if you like apply small voltage as we uh, as it lights up an led bulb as uh, and all and also it is super hydrophobic it it will completely repel water it will not the water will not adhere into this fabric and uh, this this product we can this product we can scale up to uh, a larger dimension and uh, and with that we have prepared a uh, we have fabricated a knee bandage where we have just where we have incorporated uh, embedded this uh, fabric in a larger size scale which is embedded in inside this knee cap and uh, we have prepared a device where uh, it will show it will have a microcontroller and with the help of the power bank uh, the it, it will have a digital display and so in so that you can show the, the the voltage that is the temperature that it, it will be achieving at the minimum applied voltage from this power supply and this uh, device we can control the temperature by just changing this temperature controller whether we can set it to 40 50 or 60 and we have seen that this can uh, like give this the power supply can uh, attain this uh, product for like about long as for more than 10 hours